What's up, everyone? Well, uh, I've got some updates for you. We're gonna be putting a bison overland camper on the Gladiator. We're thinking not of doing a cab over, doing a regular box and integrating wheel wells so we can get the floor as low as possible. Uh, but kind of a mini Dodge Mahal, you guys. And to be honest, I love the layout of that camper. And I wanna take a lot of what I've learned from that and integrate it into this. And uh, that's what this video is about. So, let's chat. <laughs> All right, so quick backstory. When I bought the Jeep, um, I had planned to do a camper uh, with another camper builder and all year I've been working on that and things kind of fell through with that. And I, in the middle of all this, was uh, doing some videos with Bison Overland. Um, I've actually never been here. This is my first night here in Oklahoma. But we chatted on Instagram and I saw these awesome campers that he was building. And he shared with me some videos that I then shared uh, on YouTube, but I hadn't actually seen the campers in person um, or actually met Drew. We're gonna hang at the shop for a few days. We're gonna pull the bed, planning the camper build. Really cool stuff going on here and I'm excited to be here. <laughs> Get this bed off of here, eh? You really gotta watch that glass. Just a hair. Scary. <laughs> I know, right? Mm -hmm. All right, you want to pull out? Yeah. <laughs> Just moving it around. <laughs> that pack rack's pretty strong. Yeah. Holding all that crap. It's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Take a step back. Look at that. Wow. This is going to work. <laughs> um, at least if I fall, I'll have it on video. I'm 
gotten your shot a little bit there. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's a good amount of space. Dude, it's way more than I thought, yeah. honestly. It's plenty. Mm -hmm. With windows, too, you got the windows open, you just be like, ah. Again, the garage on this one's super cool. Um, so, yeah, we'll do some more vids on that. Went mountain biking with Drew the other day, that was fun. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, maybe we'll come back in the shop in a bit, but for now, let's head back to the a line where it's getting dark out. Drew's got the rig here. Oh, left my beer. Perfect cup holder to stay cold. My little A-liner. <laughs> it's not mine. It's so funny though. I just I feel so comfy in A-liners. They feel like mine. <laughs> uh, and this thing is plugged on in. So we can bada bing bada boom hit them lights. And close the door, of course. Keep the heat in here, Phil. Alright. Look, I can see the Jeep in the shop right there. <laughs> That's fun, huh? And then uh, we're in the A-liner and Coda Girl's here. Got a computer. Something I've been doing all year that I haven't really showed you guys uh, is renderings of the camper. So many different renderings. Um, different wraps, sponsors in there, different designs. So this is kind of what we're at right now as a box. I'm playing around with this uh, roof rack here. I just pulled this off google here so we're gonna work on just cleaning this rack up so i can put it on the gladiator here and i don't know this will just be like kind of what the roof rack will look like anyways we'll size this down put it on there and get to working on our little camper rendering we're scaling this down and this will just kind of show us what it'll look like to have a little bit of a roof rack uh, on the Jeep there. That big. It's a big kayak to be fitting up there, really. My 10 foot kayak might not even fit up there without being ridiculous unless we build a custom rack specifically for it. Uh, which, so we might have to do. You know, it just helps you get a little further in the process without physically doing anything. We'll whip out some Netflix and we just watched all of Survivor, so we're gonna have to start a new show. What do we got playing here? Oh, we got a new episode of Survivor. <laughs> From brutal tribal warfare. Tribal warfare. To the epic battles of the epic battles. This is a place where a rival sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um so yeah, we're chilling. Codes is a little cold, I can tell. She was just out in the snow. So that makes sense. Bubba Bean. Get the blanket on you. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we'll film a whole lot more today, but seriously digging this rough jacket. It's like an olive, too. It matches my new Bison Overland hat so good. So, yeah. Watch some Survivor. And see you guys in a bit. What do you think, Coods? <laughs> we were just talking about the coyotes and then they chirped up again. That's crazy. Coods doesn't like it. I know, it's okay. Huh? Go get him? Should we, should we go get him? Should we go get him? Abort mission, don't get him. Probably a better idea. This is a bad judgment call. <laughs> um, 
it's been super fun getting to know you guys. Absolutely. I've been here for, I don't know, four or five days and feel like we're just best buds now. Absolutely, yeah. it's been a really good time. We've enjoyed it's it. Fun. Well, we just left Bison Overland and uh, I'm beyond pumped up, you guys. Um, this camper is exactly what I want for this Jeep right now. Um, I've gone back and forth so much on camper design and even on the way here, I kind of went back and forth a lot. Um, but the last day of driving on the way here, I was like set on a design and really set on what I wanted. And, uh, you know, Drew and Cody, like, it was just really cool the experience talking with them and sharing you know hey this is what i this is what i think this is what i want out of the rig and, and then hearing their thoughts and hearing you know what they wanted out of the rig i mean it's their first gladiator it's their first midsize um so it's you know they have passion they they want to make it you know they have this vision in their head as well but ultimately um and cody was just uh, he just put my mind at ease so much very right when he met me it was like dude we're so stoked but we just want to build exactly what you want we want to build your dream camper and like i was just like oh like this is a dream so very thankful um and i just feel really fortunate to have linked up with these guys um and i feel like the frame that they made is perfect uh template it's all they need to build the camper and then when I get there, we're gonna cut wheel wells in, and there's gonna be a good amount of work once I get there too to get it mounted, but uh, most of it'll be done in the next month or two while I'm in Arizona um, for Christmas. So I'm just so thankful, and uh, thank you guys for watching this little journey. My eyebrow looks so weird, doesn't it? That's okay. Anyways, comment below. Let us know what you think of the Bison Overland Truck Camper. Um, Hit the like if you enjoyed the video. And uh, of course, make sure you're subscribed and, and check out my Patreon for exclusive content, um, behind the scenes kind of stuff, and to hear you know big updates first. All that kind of shenanigans supporting the channel. Appreciate my patrons. The only question is, are you down the mile?